Whenever I see someone asking the question of whether or not they should buy a round column mill, sometimes the answer is no, and oftentimes the main reason is that because when you move your head up and down, uh, you'll lose your alignment. For instance, if you're step drilling a hole and you set your initial clearance for the, for the smaller bit, and you put your next larger size bit in there, you're not gonna have enough room to get it in there, so you have no choice but to raise your head and when your head is loose and you're cranking it up and down, you have this side-to-side -side motion. And that's how, you lose your, that's how you lose your location. Now, of course, it's always easier to set your clearance so that you can do all of your operations without having to move your head. But when I do have to move it, the way I do it is I take a simple dial indicator mount with a hard stop mounted here and with the, uh, with the dial extended out beyond the hard stop a little bit. I'll bring it over here to the side of the to the side of the quill, push the hard stop up against the quill and lock the base down, and then just zero the dial. And when I go to move it, I'll loosen the head, I'll push it away a little bit just to get it out of the way, and then I'll I'll bring the I'll bring the head up. And from here what I'll do is I'll just bring the bring the quill down, lock the quill, and just bump the head over until you hit the hard stop, and, and you're on zero. And there you have your original alignment. And then after that, you can just move that out of the way, loosen your quill, and you're ready to go, tighten it down, and you're ready to go. So I think that's pretty easy. It only takes me a few seconds to do, and I certainly wouldn't discourage anyone from buying a round column mill if that was their only concern. So that's all for now. That's the video, and thanks for watching.